Today we're gonna be going over my entire Air Jordan 1 collection. I'm talking lows, mids, ones, samples, you name it, we're going over everything. And if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is The DNA Show. Hey! So first things first, I'm gonna make sure I have all the links down below in the description to every single one of these shoes if I've done a review on them in the past. And I'll also do Air Jordan 1 collection recaps at the end of every single year. So if you haven't seen the ones I made before, make sure you go check out those after this video. Last year's collection video, I had just over 80 pairs of shoes and this year, I actually ended up downsizing. I'll explain to you guys why I got rid of some of the shoes that I did and make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna have my dad come over and pick out his top five favorite shoes from my Jordan 1 collection. So with all that being said, let's get into the first shoe. Right here we have the Air Jordan 1 Low Retro Reverse Bread. These are my beaters. I love rocking these anytime throughout the year. I got them for a really, really good deal. They go with a lot of different outfits. They're not the comfiest shoe, but it is okay. But I still make sure that I keep these in my rotation. Next up we have the Game Royal Air Jordan 1 one low retro this shoe right here i was gifted from a subscriber haven't got a chance to wear these yet but i don't see any reason to get rid of them i appreciate the gift you know who you are speaking of that if you ever want to send me any art or gifts i have my p.o box information down below in the description and i'll make sure that i always unbox it for you guys on one of these social platforms next up we have another jordan one low retro and that is the gold toe i used to rock these a lot before i got the reverse breads haven't really wore them that much but i feel like i need to pull these back out in the summertime and give them a little bit more use continuing Went on with the low tops we got the og cut right here with the navies i love this shoe right here as you can see i've been rocking these already they've been heavy in my rotation i need to clean up the back a little bit but either way i plan on rocking these a lot more another shoe that i have been rocking even more than those has been the neutral gray air jordan ones i feel like they're still kind of clean but trust me they've gotten really really dirty and i've had to clean them up a couple times so you know what that means i had to double up i got a ds pair sitting on ice probably plan on busting these out in a couple years but just just know this is a great shoe and I'm sure a lot of you in the comment section right now is going to say the same thing about this sneaker. You can never go wrong with these right here. Now I'm sure all you guys heard before if you saw the videos in the past. I have the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low right here. The OG Mocha colorway. Still got these in the collection and I still have a size 12. So if anybody has a size 13 that's dead stock out there for me, let me know so I can make a trade with you so I can have a pair that I can fit. Now following that release, we had the Fragment Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low. Haven't really got around to wearing this shoe just yet because when they came out, literally everybody was rocking these. I think I'm gonna have these sitting on ice for a couple years before I start pulling my pair out. Let everybody else beat theirs up and then I'll start rocking mine. After that release, we got the Travis Scott Reverse Mocha Air Jordan 1 Low. Had to add these to the collection to complete the set. These might be my least favorite, I know, hot take, but it is what it is. I still like the shoe. I'm just saying, if I were to rank them out of the four, oh yeah, I got the black phantoms as well but if i were to rank them out of these four i might put these in last place so yes like i just said i got the black phantoms as well for the collection now these right here they're slowly growing on me i'm not 100 percent a fan of the materials when it comes to the mixture some people love it some people hate it i wish they would have kind of done the entire shoe with the single material but i don't know it might be something that might grow on me even more in the future i lace these things up i tried them on they look really good on feet definitely plan on rocking these and to be honest with you the price that they're at right now i feel like i might double up really soon now taking it to the air jordan one mids i know y'all be hating on the mids but at the end of the day i still love mids i like the older mids but it is what it is i'll show you what i got the patent leather chicago air jordan one mid now i used to have the unc in the black and gold the unc the yellow started to yellow really bad the black and gold the jewel on the side started to crack and it was starting to crumble a little bit right here on the front end around the area where it was creasing at i wore both honestly all three of these a lot so I can understand why I got rid of those years ago, but I had to keep these I got a lot of memories and this is one of my favorite Air Jordan ones in my collection So these are probably I would say top five when it comes to my Jordan ones again I know that was probably another hot take. How could you have Jordan one maids in your top five? But either way <laughs> It's what I like next up. We got the UNC Air Jordan one mid right here the alpha joints these things go crazy memories from high school still having these to this day is a great shoe for the collection a lot of people that's been collecting for 10 15 years you probably remember this shoe i think it's still a great nostalgic sneaker the quality of the materials everything is solid they feel really comfortable i like the shoe the outsole is yellowing but you know it used to have that icy blue outsole on there and now it's kind of more of a green look but either way <laughs> i still like these gotta keep them in the collection next up we have a shoe that has been to Oh, oh man these things have been to so many different places but either way these things are dusty and crusty i still love them the new love Air Jordan 1s. As you can see, they are turned up right here. It is what it is. 
Oh man, these things are crazy. Hold on, let me get a, get a good shot for you guys. Look at that. Yeah, that's foul. Either way, <laughs> I had to keep these in the collection. Been rocking these since high school. They're holding on strong. I done had to replace the insoles a couple times. The heel drag, it's like white right here. This ain't even, this is crazy. I, there's no way I'm ever getting rid of these. But y'all know me, if there's a shoe that I love like that, I always end up doubling up. So I made sure I got an icy pair in the collection. These have been worn a couple times, you know. I try to dabble a little bit, as you can see a little bit of dirt on the outsoles, but this pair in particular, I try to keep these ones clean. And if you have the new loves in your collection, there's no way you can go without having the old loves in your collection. That's all I'm saying. Back in the day, mids were hot. They weren't even high OGs back in the day that were coming out. Well, I wouldn't say, you know, way back in the day, but you know that 2006, 2008, 2009 era, we were starting to kind of see some of those retro plus colorways with the Jumpman on the back, which we'll get to in a second. But this stuff right here, this stuff was hot. And the package, the package was amazing. So I still got the OG box. I love this pack. These will always be in my collection. I got so many memories with these shoes from back then to current time. So yes, I love these. I love mids. Let's keep it pushing. Next up right here, we have the Chicago Air Jordan 1 in the AJKO colorway. Now this is the 2010 retro, so it had the actual Air Jordan 1 bottom on there, and then it has the kind of vintage look to it on the midsole and the outsole. And it's so funny because everybody used to hate on this shoe and they didn't like that vintage look and all those different things. And now 10, 12 years later, what do we got? The vintage look is coming back. Everybody loves it. So I used to love these back in the day. I love the shoes that have the vintage vibe to them now. And it's just cool to still have these in my collection and have all the memories from rocking these back then. I used to have the whole set of all these KOs, but I got rid of those ones and I just kept the classic OG colorway that I like the most, which was the Chicago. So these are the ones I still have after all these years. Now, if I got those in my collection, you know I gotta have these in my collection. This is the retro version that came out a couple years ago, but honestly, the shape, mold, as you can see the outsole is different the midsole is different these are done better than the ones that you just saw and they are very close to the og cut in style materials and everything that we saw from the actual og from back in the day so with all that nostalgia history everything behind it i thought it was a great addition to the collection just saying how much i love the other pair and i thought these were dope as well so i was excited to add these to the collection and honestly they're pretty cheap i don't know how prices are now but i remember when they came out not that many people wanted them a lot of people slept on them i thought it was a great cop if you guys are enjoying this video make sure you guys hit that subscribe button we're on the road to a million subscribers and we ain't gonna stop let's take it to the next shoe these are actually set to come out again this year i think they have a different name to them but this is something from the bulls and celtics pack the dmp one pack as you remember we got the celtics ones right here and we got the bulls ones like i was talking about this came out in that era with the jump ends on the back ends of the shoe I love both of these. I know they're not the best when it comes to the materials and the cuts and how they were before because it's got the Jumpmans on there and everything like that, but I still love this pack. I have this pack in my collection since it came out. I thought it was a great addition to the collection back then, and I still think they're dope. I wear these every now and then, but now everybody's going to be wearing these, so I'll, you know, I'll probably just get the retro and see how it goes with that but it's gonna be very interesting to compare those to these and see the differences. So stay tuned for that review in the future. But yes, DMP Air Jordan 1 pack, great additions, hello. Next up on the list from the Air Jordan 1 high retro days with the Jumpman on the back, back in 2008 when we saw the Jordan 1s and the 22s come out in the CDP pack. Y'all remember the CDP pack? Good times. The Jordan 1 from 2008 right here, black and white, AKA pandas to the new generation, AKA OG black and white, Air Jordan 1, which we will see again come out with the Retro 85 cut, and you know I'm gonna be adding those to my collection too. This shoe right here, I have worn a ton of times, yet they still look really good. I clean them up as much as I can. I really love the quality of laces that they did on this shoe. I know that sounds kind of weird, but they had a nicer premium lace that came on this shoe in particular. Those that have this shoe, you know what I'm talking about. But yes, as you can see, Jumpman on the front, Jumpman on the back, a little bit different hits right here. But either way, classic OG colorway, can't go wrong with it. Love these, they literally go with everything. But as you know, the pandas have been going crazy. So because of it, the past couple years, I haven't really been wearing them that much because I didn't want to hear people talk about the panda vibes on my feet. So these gonna still sit on ice for probably a couple more years again. Next up, we have a Zoom Air Jordan 1, but this one in particular is not what you typically see. You've probably seen this in the past on my channel when I featured it, but I haven't had a chance to do a full review on this shoe. And I'm excited to show you guys. I know I've just been really busy. Either way, here's another look at it. Very plain Jane. 
but the leather on these things is insane. You got a premium black leather, a blue Nike Air on the top, the bottom is black. Normally on these right here on the zoom units, they actually show like a translucent outsole and it's got like the little Z's with the kind of rainbow print on it, different stuff like that for those models. These ones in particular are the prototype sample versions of that. So you can see the zoom unit on the inside. It's got the sample tag right here on the side of the foot right here. And this was what they used to create all the ones that came out after that. So to be able to have this prototype and be able to try this and have it in my size and everything, I think it's super dope. A great piece of history for Zoom being added to Jordans when it comes to the full length and throughout the bottom of the foot and everything like that. So just a great addition to the collection. I thought it was a dope sample to have as well. And one day, I'll break it all down for you guys. I know the shoe is pretty basic, but there's a lot of cool elements to this sneaker and a little bit of differences as well when it comes to the actual GRs that came out to the public compared to these right here. Next up, we have a shoe that I love wearing and I had to double up on, and that is the Amamanier Air Jordan 1s. These are heavy in my rotation. As you can see, this is my worn pair. I try to keep them clean. They do get dirty every now and then, but I clean them up pretty nicely. And then I still have a dead stock pair sitting on ice right here. So as you can see, my two pairs, I doubled up honestly on this entire set the ones twos threes and fours i had to double up on all of them because i love rocking all of them i messed up my twos the first day i wore them but luckily we're doubling up on everything i think this set is fire we'll talk about that later if you haven't seen that video in the past but yes great additions to the collection great for the rotation love the qualities cuts and materials let's take it to the next shoe all right where's all my steelers fans out there you know we got some in the comment section let me know down below what team you rocking with we got the pollen air jordan ones i actually wore these to a steelers game like i said i would so i love this shoe i had to go with the all black laces this time I think I did mismatch lace. I don't even remember what I did. I think I might have did mismatch because I was indecisive. But either way, I love this shoe. I had two pairs of these. Just got rid of one because I ended up getting the Taxi Air Jordan ones as well. I feel like it's great to have both of these, not to have two of these and not one of those. So I think it's good to have the two different color options. And then these being more of that toe style with the front end and then the back end. I thought this was a great shoe. I think this is very slept on, very similar to the Shattered Backboards, which we will talk about a little bit. Actually, we could talk about that now. I don't have the Shattered Backboards. I don't like the Shattered Backboards. I've had the ones, twos, threes. I've had samples of the Shattered Backboards and I don't like them. So if you think I should have those in my collection, trust me, I don't want them. I already spent my money on them in the past. I done sold them, got rid of them, traded them, done all those things. I'm not a fan of them. Just not that big of an orange type of guy. It's gotta be a special occasion on certain sneakers. But those in particular, I'm not a fan. We'll cover all that now, so let's take it to the next shoe. Right here, we got a recent pickup from a couple weeks ago, and that is the Gorge Green Air Jordan 1s. These have been highly slept on as well. I used to have the Bordeaux ones. I got rid of them. I know I shouldn't have, but it was in a trade because I, st I still think that's a nice shoe. Honestly, I still do. But I traded it up for something else, which we will talk about in a second because we did make some big trades this year. If you guys haven't seen some of the videos in the past, we traded for some cool shoes. But anyways, going to the next shoe right here, we have the Laser Air Jordan 1s. I've had these way back in the day, then I got them back in my collection, and I was happy to finally be able to keep them in my collection. I think that they're starting to yellow a little bit on the outsoles, but it is what it is. I really like this shoe. They did a really good job on this collection. I low-key want to get the Laser 20s back in my collection. I know, super random shoe, but I think those are clean too. But anyways, great shoe. I love these. Let's take it to the next one. And that is the SP Gina Air Jordan 1. These in particular, I think have a super dope story behind them. I covered this shoe with a full review in the past. So if you guys wanna see more or learn about this shoe, you will, trust me, you will appreciate this shoe. Even if you don't like the colors and all those things, I think the story and the meaning behind the shoe alone is well worth listening to and potentially even copping the shoe simply because of that. Next up, we have a very hype sneaker that a lot of people love. I feel like it's a little overpriced, but at the same time, I understand why people price it that way. And that is the Mocha Air Jordan 1s. Been rocking these for a minute. I low-key had to slow down on them in the past year because I was starting to beat them up. Even though I had a dead stock pair sitting on ice, as you can see right here. But I do like this shoe a lot, and I do keep these in my rotation. But you know what I'm saying? It's a new year. We might have to start busting these things back out again. Now, if I got the mochas, you know what I gotta have to go alongside with those. And that is the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 mocha. I used to have two pair of these. I got them for retail on sneakers app. I know it's crazy. If you don't believe me, do whatever you want. You don't have to believe me or not. The, all the information is down below. You can watch the videos from the past. But either way, got these two shoes for retail. And as you see, I no longer have the second 
second pair. I traded my second pair in a deal for the Nike Air Mags. That's right, I did that for a deal. If you wanna watch that video, the link will be down below. Uh, there's a couple other shoes that I had doubled up in here that we'll talk about in a second, which are some more valuable, high heat, uh, hype beast, whatever sneakers you guys want to call them. But I think these are uh, great shoes. I love these. I have the whole set of the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1s, which we will go through in a second. So I'm still happy to have a pair, brand new dead stock. I used to have a used pair as well. I used to have three pair this year. I had three pair. I got rid of my used pair, my new pair, and then I kept my second new pair uh, for the collection still. So I think I'll probably find a used pair sometime this year, add them back in the collection so I have another pair in my rotation because I definitely miss rocking these and I gotta make sure I always keep one in the collection. Next up right here, we have a shoe that is set to come out kinda in this colorway this year, which I am very excited for because like I said, you saw my low tops. I love the gold toes. I love the patent leather Jordan ones. I love all that stuff. I know some people don't like patent leather, but we have the top three Air Jordan 1 with the gold colorways. This is similar to the Union Drop, but it was a little bit different. So you got the gold toe, which you got the different color blocking on the outside compared to the inside of the shoe right here. I love this shoe right here. Love rocking this shoe. And uh, the only reason why I got rid of my second pair was because I ended up grabbing these as well. A little bit different of a version, but I was like, you know what? If it's black and gold patent leather, I don't need to have two of that when I could have one and one of each. So kind of made sense to add these to the collection. All black with the gold. I think, like I said before, the mids were very similar to these. So that's kind of why I gravitated to these to have a new pair that I can wear that I don't have to worry about the aging and the different things like that. So hopefully that kind of helps you guys understand why I got rid of shoes from the past to get new ones from the future that are very similar. So I wouldn't have two of the same type of thing, which some people may say, they're all the same shoe. Why'd you get the same thing? They're all the same model. All you did, did, did. I get that, bro. I get it. But trust me, they all got their own little stories and I'm gonna justify it either way. Now next up on the list right here, we have the Jordan Brand Classic Air Jordan 1, black and gold patent leather, I know, very similar, but these ones are a little bit different. You got the gold speckle outsole. You got the different color midsole, as you can see. <laughs> I've done a review on this and the differences in all the videos. Again, like I said, links down below. I got these in my collection too. All right, next up right here, we have the recent retro, the Shadow Air Jordan 1s. I know, actually, I guess I would say recent, but it's been a few years now. Uh, I've been rocking these things. I used to have a couple pairs. I should have kept the second pair on ice. That's why I'm trying to slowly take care of these things and not wear them as often until I find another pair because these you could easily beat up. It looks like an amazing shoe, new, used, beat up. They all look good either way. But I love this shoe a lot. Um, I wear these, I used to wear them way too much, so I'm starting to chill out. But And you know what I was thinking earlier? I think I said it's 2022, we gotta break some shoes out. I forgot, it's 2023 now. We gotta bust these things out. Oh yeah, and by the way, I have the Shadow 2.0s. I just don't know where they're at. I've been looking all over and I can't find them. I know for a fact I have that shoe though. Another shoe that is very similar to the Shadows that I love to have in my collection and I love rocking this shoe, the Lely May Air Jordan 1s. Got a little bit of creasing, you know, you got the satin on the toe box, but either way, this shoe looks amazing. You got the corduroy, the chenille, the satin, all the materials, the presentation of the shoe, so simple, so clean. As you see this shoe in person, you know what I'm talking about. These things are nice. Since we're on the theme of the Shadows, we can't forget to mention something with a little bit of a twist the Rebellionaire Air Jordan 1s recently added these to the collection I think they're super dope I think they're undervalued it is what it is not every shoe has to be crazy expensive and exclusive and all those other things but at the end of the day I love these I'm happy to have these in my collection you got the band X on the back kind of got that shadow vibe with the graffiti with the word and the different script all throughout the upper so definitely a clean shoe let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section and let's take it to the next shoe and that is the Co Japan Air Jordan 1 this is the retro, used to have the OG, needed the pair with the briefcase, and I'm glad I finally got these. I doubled up on these, but I got rid of a pair in a trade some months back, but I still got a fresh pair. My groomsmen wore these to my wedding. We had a great time, which that was a while ago. But either way, I got a lot of memories. I didn't wear these because I wore something else, but they are still kind of, you know, those memories are tied with this shoe right here, plus having the OGs from back in the day. So. I love these. I don't know. I feel like people are sleeping on these. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Next up, we got another personal favorite right here. Probably one of my top five sneakers in my Jordan 1 collection. And that is the Dornbecker Air Jordan 1, Mr. Boobers. 
I personally know Tony, the designer of this shoe. We went to school together. Appreciate you, bro. Love you. Thanks for hooking me up with this shoe. Man, we gotta catch up, bro. It's been a while. Now, this next shoe on my list is very, very wild. I know not everybody likes it, but I, I was very interested in this shoe, and I thought it was something cool to have in the collection. Still trying to figure out how I'm gonna rock them. One day I will. We got the Air Jordan 1 J Balvin. Now this is a sample pair. It's just a promo sample. So everything is essentially the same as like the GR version. Got a little bit different when it comes to the patches and stuff. But overall, very nice shoe when it comes to the materials, the concepts, and how they put the shoe together. Now again, the colorway to the eye and the appeal may be something people don't like, but when you look at the satin on the sock liner, the leather on the back end, the different patches, how they cut the materials and everything, I think they did a really good job on this shoe and I appreciate these. Next up, we have an Air Jordan 1 in a women's release, but luckily they dropped these in extended sizes and that's the UNC to Chicago Air Jordan 1s. The material on this shoe, if you have this shoe, let me know down below in the comment section. These things are fire. They did a great job on these. And like I said earlier, you guys know I love me some patent leather, so I couldn't resist the UNC to Chicago patent leather Air Jordan 1s. Again, I love this shoe. I think they did a really good job. I like the materials. I know everybody doesn't like patent leather. We got the jewel on the side. Similar to how I said with my mids right here, you got that red Chicago on the front end. Brought a lot of memories back, so I wanted to add these to the collection. Continuing on with that UNC to Chicago theme, we got the UNC Air Jordan 1s. This is the suede pair. I know a lot of you guys remember when these came out and all the hype behind them and the prices. Luckily, it's starting to go down a little bit, but either way, they're still kind of an expensive shoe and I completely understand that. I was happy to be able to add these into my collection. We had a fun time copping this shoe as well. I doubled up on these but I actually ended up trading my second pair and just keeping my used pair. I do rock these every now and then but I try to keep them clean but there's a reason why. And that's because I have the UNC's in the leather version as well. We remember this retro. I wish I had the OG, but I'll take what I can get. I still love rocking this shoe. I try to keep them clean as well, but there's another reason why. And that's because I have the off-white UNC Air Jordan 1s. Now you guys know, I used to have two of these in my collection for a really long time. Ended up getting exclusive access, grabbing the pair for retail and then hit on another pair. And I had these pairs, man, these been in my collection for a long time, but the price has gone up and I traded these for my Air Mags. Like I talked about earlier with the Travis Scotts, this was one of the second pair that I had a double up on that I used for leverage towards my Air Mag trade as well. So I got the shoe for retail, price went up thousands of dollars. I used that as leverage to trade for a different sneaker that I don't have. And that's kind of how it goes when it comes to the trading game, being strategic on the shoes that you decide to trade. Now, the reason why I say there's another reason why is because there's another reason why. And that's because I have the UNC Air Jordan 1 PE. I finally added these to my collection this year. I put some shoes in for some trades and instead of having doubles of all these different UNC versions, I wanted to be able to get the top dog, the UNC off-white, the different variations and be able to complete that set. So that allowed me to be able to get the different variations that I wanted. So now I gotta make sure that I'm cautious and I'm keeping all my pairs clean just in case if I beat those up because I like to have sets and it only makes sense to me in my mind and I think this was a great addition to the collection the materials the cuts you name it, they did a great job. I love UNC PEs, and I was very happy to add these to my collection. We're on the topic with the light blue sneakers. We got another shoe that a lot of people slept on, and I was so happy I got these things for retail. Haven't got around to wearing them yet, but I will one day, and that is the Obsidian Air Jordan 1s. I remember when these things were going for retail, nobody really wanted them. They were easy to cop at Sneaker Con. Everybody was passing up on this shoe. Next thing you know, the price goes crazy, and I was trying to tell everybody, the materials on these things are really, really nice. The colorway is fire. They go with a lot of different outfits and this shoe just makes sense. Next up, we got a sneaker on the list that I got gifted from Jordan Brand. And again, I appreciate you guys as always. And that is the Hyper Royal Air Jordan 1. I think the shoe is extremely clean. I wear these every now and then. I try to keep them on point as much as I can. I think a great summertime shoe as well. So I typically only wear them for a few different months throughout the year. But either way, I love this shoe. I appreciate you guys allowing me to get these shoes. And thank you. Now let's take it to the next shoe. And that is the Storm Blue Air Jordan 1. It's funny because same situation. I remember when everybody was sleeping on these. These things were low-key at outlets. People didn't even care about the shoe. I got mine for the low, so I ain't tripping. But either way, everybody was sleeping on these. Next thing you know, price goes crazy. Oh wow, that shoe is amazing. I gotta have them in my collection prices up there out the roof and everybody's going bananas so i'm glad i still got these i'm glad i got them for a great deal i used to rock these way too much but then the prices started to go crazy so i had to chill down just a little bit because i knew if i beat these up too much 
it's gonna be very expensive to get a second pair so i've been trying to take care of them i do wear them i still keep them clean you know what i'm saying i keep my things clean now one shoe that is really clean to me i don't know about y'all but I, again i love me some patent leather we got the air jordan one high retro and the patent leather all blue vibes right here these were gifted to my high school there's some a couple other samples out there that have been leaked on the internet but every time i post these everybody goes crazy i've gotten crazy offers for this shoe right here but i'm never getting rid of this sample that you know it's, it's my school colors everything like that so to see that the coaching staff got these at my high school was super dope and i was able to get my hands on a pair of these years later so as you see they kind of match with the blue in the background but they did a really good job on this shoe all royal blue patent leather i know they got the jump in on the back and they don't got the nike air and everything but either way these things hit home they go great with the school colors you know what i'm saying put my letterman jacket on with the old school coaching shoes you know what i'm saying i feel like that's a cool little vibe now speaking of vibes let's kick it old school for you guys real quick and we got the air jordan 185 cut georgetown this shoe right here i was very excited to add these to my collection i got these late after the release but i still was able to grab them i found these when i was out sneaker shopping at my local shop so definitely excited to grab these i want to complete this whole set i'm missing the reverse breads i still need to get those every time i find a size 12 but not a 13 and then if i do find a 13 they be taxing and you know i ain't paying that tax price so when i find a 13 for a good deal i will grab them now one shoe that people don't be taxing on that much which i thought was crazy because it's similar to the neutral gray jordan one low and that's the jordan one high in the 85 cut as well now one thing i can say is these things are uncomfortable i had a second pair i ended up getting rid of those i tried them on i was like you know what maybe i'm just gonna use these things for collecting purposes like i said i want to complete the set of the 85 ones i thought these would be similar with the you know white neutral gray easy to rock with a lot of different outfits but the shoe is just very stiff and some people say hey you gotta break it in i get that too but i don't feel like going through that process when it comes to this i just want to throw a pair of shoes on and go i don't want to be uncomfortable for a whole week rocking the shoe trying to break it in so you know maybe one day i'll consider breaking them in but for right now these things are gonna be sitting on ice all right you guys we got about 20 pairs of sneakers left again if you guys are enjoying this and you haven't already consider hitting that subscribe button because like i said we on the road to a million subscribers and we ain't gonna stop till we get there all right next up right here we got a retro that i love i love rocking these things came out in like 2013 or something like that but either way i still be rocking these things way too much but it's okay because i dove it up and that is the air jordan one royal oh this is a classic you can't go wrong with these if anyway these things is unlaced either way these things go hard i love this shoe where's my dead stock pair oh here we go i still got a ds pair sitting on ice these things they've been through the ringer but you know what i'm saying they still look pretty clean you know we don't got too much heel drag i still got life in these things one day if i need to i will bust these out but you know what i'm saying when you got a classic like this you gotta double up and when they retro them again <laughs> you gotta triple up man this shoe right here i'm not that big of a fan of just because of the way they did the materials i know they say they're a little bit nicer but look at this leather these things are crystallizing like crazy i'm not that big of a fan that the inside of it look at that that's just it looks terrible but either way you know i had to still cop i didn't know this was gonna happen when i copped the shoe obviously they've been sitting on ice because i've been rocking my older pair but you kind of get where i'm going right here if i want one i kind of complete the whole set with the different generations and the iterations or whatever you like to call it speaking of that we got a little bit more royal type sneakers to go in my collection and that is the travis frag air jordan one high these i think might be at the lower end of my my whole travis scott set i feel like these might be at the lower end some people push them up a little bit higher but because i'm a size 13 and the shoe is all white well not all white but you get what i'm saying the toe and area it just looks really really big so because of that it kind of turns me off a little bit but i don't have the fragments which i don't know why i still don't have the fragments yet one day i'll get those i swear one day i'll get those but because of that i kind of settled for these and i wanted to complete the set so you know what i'm saying the different iterations and different things like that so gotta have these in the set not too hyped up about them i don't think these are my best or my top fives or anything like that so let's keep it pushing next up right here we have the top three air jordan ones speaking of top five this is the top three jordan ones so they took the three classic models they put the different colorways on this shoe like we saw with the patent leather something very similar look at the inside of the foot you got the different colors right here with the different things so I like this shoe a lot. I think they did a really good job. I think it was more from just nostalgia and respect and honoring the classic OGs was why I wanted to have these in my collection. Again, 
not my top five shoe. I think they did solid with materials. People slept on these when they first came out and then the prices just started to shoot up. So I was glad I got these for retail. I'm kind of just still sitting on them making it. I can't say making up my mind because it's been many of years now, but I think it's easy to say that I've decided I want to keep these in my collection. Next up right here, we have the Court Purple Air Jordan 1s. I think it's really dope to complete the entire toe set. But at the same time, I know I don't like the shattered backboards, but if I did have the, you know, the whole rainbow of all the colors, I feel like it would only be right just to get those just for a picture. But at the same time, I'm not spinning a rack on those just to take a photo. So maybe, you know, we might just have to be missing a color. But one shoe that I can't miss is the 2.0 version. Similar to the Chicago color blocking, these things are clean. I love this shoe. I think they did a really good job. I had a second pair that I was wearing, but I ended up getting rid of those in a trade as well. Like I said, we traded for some grills this year. I know they weren't Jordan 1 grills, but at the same time, I wanted to get some different things and mix it up a little bit. And that's always cool when you got doubles in your collection and you're able to get things for retail. It makes it a lot easier to put stuff into trades and still have a pair sitting on ice. Now, one shoe that I have been sitting on ice that, man, I don't know if I'm gonna ever rock these. I know you're supposed to like wear these and like really tear them up, but it's just so hard to because I love the way they look as they are. And that is the LA to Chicago Nike SB Air Jordan 1. I think they just did a, such a dope job on the concept, the materials, the colorway. I know I kind of wish it had like the red on the bottom to match with the uh, color blocking of the Chicago after, but it looks good with the black to make it more neutral just to kind of go with both of the colorways. But either way, this shoe is clean. I feel like we don't really see these that often anymore. I know a lot of people was really rocking these heavy when they first came out, but now I don't really see that many on feet out in rotation out in the wild. So maybe it is a good time to start wearing the shoe and bringing it out and kind of letting people see the shoe again. All right, next up right here, we got a shoe again. Like I said, I love me some patent leather. We got to take it there. The bread patent leather Air Jordan 1s. And it's dope because they got the hang tag, just like we saw in the patent leather ones from back in the day. Just got that red jeweled kind of hang tag right there. So super clean shoe. I used to have two of these, but I got rid of one in a trade for my Air Mags. I think, or was it for my Air Mags? Or was it for a different, oh, I think that was for my UNC 1 PE when I did that trade. Either way, I traded them away because like I said, I'd rather have two different shoes than two of the same one. So it's always cool to trade sometimes when you got doubles or triples of sneakers. So still kept one in my collection. I do want to grab another one, but I look forward to rocking these soon. I had to wait for a little bit because you know, every time a shoe comes out, everybody be rocking it. Everybody be walking around looking like each other. And I know I get it. We can all pull off different outfits, but I like to wear something different. That's all I'm saying. Now this one in particular ain't really that different. Everybody loves to rock this shoe and that's completely fine because I love to rock these two, specifically this 2013 Retro. Is this 2013? This was 2013, wasn't it? Yeah, I think this was 20. Where's it 2014? Either way, the bread ones. This shoe right here, oh my gosh. Just like the Royals, I put even more time into this shoe, more miles. These definitely got some more heel drag. They got, definitely got more creases and scuffs, but that's okay because I keep a DS pair sitting on ice. This shoe is way too expensive and I gotta make sure that I keep one on ice. And I'll, when it comes to classics, just take notes people, trust me when I tell you this. When a classic colorway comes out, like an OG classic, they will always go up in value. And if you like that shoe a lot and you wanna wear it and beat it up and you wanna have it years down the line and you're not sure if they're gonna retro it or if you really like the materials on that specific one, trust me, it's always good to double up because you can either use it for trade bait or you can have a second pair. And then when you have these tore up and beat up and you wanna pull off a clean outfit and bring out a dead stock pair and feel fresh, you still have that option. And if anything, it's a good investment. You can say, hey, I got the shoe and now it's worth 800 bucks and I got them for 160 bucks. So there's a lot of different ways to look at it. But either way, I got these for my collection because I love these, I love collecting, I love rocking these different shoes and I always like to keep my classics on ice. Now one shoe I didn't double down on that I should have years ago and I wish I did, that's why I slowly stopped wearing these a couple years ago. The Black Toe Air Jordan 1s. I know we had the bread toes come out. I get that, we'll talk about that in a second. But the black toes are the black toes. I don't care, you can say the bread toes are better, all those different things, we can have them conversations. These walked so those could run. And either way, I still think these are running so or sprinting, I don't even know what you wanna call it. But either way, this is a classic. I heard that they're coming out again. They're doing a reimagined version. And trust me, I will be doubling up maybe even tripling up on that shoe. So stay tuned for those cops in the future and the comparison videos. But these right here, 
oh yeah, you can never go wrong with these. So like you guys saw, yes, I got the bread toes as well. I actually tripled up on this shoe way back in the day, got rid of them, got rid of both of them. I sold one because it was going for decent money and I was like, oh, I could just use that to buy a different shoe. The second one I used for a trade and I ended up keeping these right here. I haven't really got around to wearing them. I, I really enjoy wearing my black toes and my bread so much that it hasn't really pushed me to want to wear this shoe right here. So because of it, I kind of got lucky and I ended up deciding to keep a pair and they went up in value and I might use them for trade bait, but I think it's cool to kind of have the set and see the different versions over the years with collecting and completing sets like that. So still love this shoe. I don't have no problems with it, but again, it just doesn't amount to the OGs. Now, speaking of OGs, we got something similar and that is the Chicago Air Jordan 1 trophy room style. So these right here give you that Chicago color blocking with a different twist. You got the icy outstalls with the different storytelling with the stuff on the side of the foot with the signature or the stitch on the inside or the numbering behind the tongue with the different, you know, years and dates and all the different things. Either way, I love the shoe. I know this release was terrible when they came out. I had two pairs of these. I traded one for some, what did I trade one for? I think I traded one for the mags. I think that was in my mag trade. Yeah, I think it was. I don't know. We'll have to watch that video back. But I remember I used to have two of these for a long time. Um, and then I got rid of my second pair literally like a few months ago. So I, I'm pretty sure that was the trade. But I like the shoe. I think it's cool. Uh, I just, I don't know. I feel like you can't beat an OG. So let's get into the OG. And that is the 2015. I know it's not the OG, but you get what I'm saying. That's the 2015 Chicago Air Jordan 1. Now this one in particular is more beat than my breads and my Royals put together, plus some. Um, these things are dirty. I have wore, look at these, I didn't ever even clean this shoe. These things are disgusting, but that's okay. You know what I'm saying? I got a dead stock pair sitting on ice, 2015 retro as well. So that's why I had no cares for this because I knew for a fact I had a fresh pair sitting on ice. Documentary came out and these prices went insane. And I didn't keep them for those reasons. I kept them because I actually liked the shoe. But it's crazy to see how much these went up. And then you know right after that, the Lost and Founds came up. So let's go ahead and get into those real quick. Right here, we got the Lost and Found Chicago Jordan 1s. Recently came out this year, and I know everybody loves this sneaker. And as you can see, I'm already rocking my pair. And just like you saw that 2015 pair that was beat up, trust me, I have the same plans for this shoe. I'm gonna, I already wore these in the mud two times already. I done cleaned them up a little bit, but I'm, trust me, I'm gonna get my miles in, and you know why because I doubled up, I got a second pair sitting on ice, waiting for my third pair to come in the mail, but we'll just say technically I got two right now. Either way, this is a great shoe. I know everybody loves these. I know everybody got these or want to have these in their collection. And trust me right now, the price that they're at currently, just like I talked about earlier with the shoes that you get them and then they go up in value. These in particular, these are definitely going to go up in value. So all I'm saying is, you know, I know you may want to be a stickler when it comes to buying resale and all this stuff, but if you want to get the shoe, it's probably a good time to get the shoe now. Now sticking with the Chicago topic, you know we gotta put the grail in there a little bit later in the list, build the anticipation, all those things, have a little bit of fun. And that is the Chicago Off-White Air Jordan 1. I'm not even gonna say nothing. You know, you. Uh, it speaks for itself. Let's just take it to the next shoe. These things are amazing. You know the story. If you don't know the story, how I got these, crazy story, crazy trade. Got these things for like 400 bucks after the release. Anyways, let's take it to the next shoe. Damn, these ones actually might be even crazier of a story. $109. I got over 20 pairs of this shoe when it came out. That's crazy. The band Air Jordan 1s. The good old Nike outlet drop. Everybody remembers this time. If you've been in the game for, you know, 10, 15 years, you probably remember these times from back in the day. I kept a fresh, clean pair on ice. I used to wear a pair. I sold those many years ago. I sold that pair for like, like almost $2,000 and it was warm. It was crazy to think. I was like, there's no way I'm not selling shoes. Like when somebody offered me that, I was like, I have to sell it. I just have to do it. I still got a pair sitting on ice. So I definitely want to get another pair of these, but again, I put my time in with the bread. So you know, I gotta, I gotta keep these ones. And I think it's just great for like a story piece, a trophy piece, and just a great nostalgic shoe uh, overall when it comes to, you know, the band and the story and everything like that. So definitely a dope sneaker to have in my collection. Let's take it to the next one. And that is the Black Toe Union Air Jordan 1. So 
we heard that they're supposed to be coming out with some more Union 1s, and I'm glad to see that. I hope we don't get some drunk colorways, but I got a feeling they're going to say something similar to those OG colorways. We got the Black Toe and the Storm Blue, something like that. So if they did like a UNC Union 1, or if they, you know what I'm saying? Like, that would be kind of dope. I don't know. I, what do you guys think? Let me know down below, but I think that would be kind of fire. So I got these for a pretty solid price through a trade. It's funny because I traded, I feel like honestly, that, that was actually a pretty good deal at the end of the day. I traded two pairs of rookie of the year Air Jordan 1s for these right here. At the time, the rookie of the years were worth like, I think 350 bucks, something like that. So that was my trade, two pairs of those for this shoe right here. Like I said, using shoes to leverage to get other girls that you want. I think this shoe is really dope. I would love to find a used pair of these so I can, you know, beat those ones up as well. I haven't got around to wearing these yet. I feel like I want to find a nice occasion for it just because I have the black toes already and that's already a classic nostalgic sneaker. Just haven't really found a reason to rock these ones yet. But eventually, I will. Don't worry. I'll be rocking a lot of my shoes. It just takes time. You know what I'm saying? Now, this one right here is another sample that I have in my collection. It's just a little promo sample. Nothing crazy. But... The New Beginning Air Jordan 1 and the 85 cut. This was my first pair of Jordan 1s with the 85 cut. I was extremely happy to add these to the collection. And like I said, I want to complete my 85 1 set. And I know they're going to be dropping some more in the future. Stay tuned. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying is just... 2025, it's going to be an epic year. Don't say I said it first. Maybe I didn't. Maybe this is the first time you heard it. But all I can say is... It's about to be some crazy drops over the next couple years, boys. And ladies and kids, I love all you guys. So now when it comes to my baby collection, you guys know, some of you don't. I have a collection of baby sneakers as well. And I got some samples. I got some cool stuff. And uh, I got a bunch of Jordan 1s as well. I got a, probably about like 10 pairs in there. So let's run through those real quick before my pops comes in here to pick out his top five. Right here, we have the Lost and Founds. We got the Patent Breads and the Baby Bottoms. We got the UNC. We got the Shadows. All these classic classics dope got him you know what i'm saying one day when i have a kid they're gonna be iced out i even got this little sample pair right here these things go crazy bro i don't know if these came out to the public or not but they're samples and i thought they was cool to have another dope pair lost and founds i know i got the soft bottoms but we got to make sure we got the hard bottoms these things are icy bro now i used to have this shoe in the adult version but i got rid of it because it's going to be super easy to get back so i was like no pressure but i made sure i kept the kids pair and the heritage air jordan ones these things are dope i think this is a very clean shoe what we got right here oh i forgot i got these the yellow toe ones and the baby style <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're going to be fitted, bro. Oh, yeah. And trust me, I'm aware because when they get older, they're going to have some nice shoes as well. We got the Ama size 2 youth. You know what I'm saying? Something light. Got to keep them fresh when they get older. By that time, the, by the time they can fit that shoe, they're going to be like little classic grails on their feet like that's gonna be dope next up right here we got a sample that is extremely dope i've gotten offers for over a thousand dollars still got the sample tag on these things you got the sample stamp on the inside with the tag on there these things are just wild the bread air jordan one these never came out again people have offered me crazy money for this shoe right here never getting rid of them i want my kid to rock these and be dipped you know what i'm saying with the breads you know what i'm saying this is a classic right here Again, you can't go wrong. So we got all that stuff taken care of. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Let's see what my dad picks as my top five sneakers from my Jordan 1 collection. I'm very interested. It always changes every year. So last year, I had just over 80 pairs of shoes when it comes to Jordan 1s. Right. This year, I downsized, I did some trades, and I got some PEs in my collection when uh -huh. it comes to Jordan 1s. You saw the UNCs. Pick out my top five, your top five, Favorite Jordan ones from my collection. And I gotta go quick, huh? Yep. All this is on this side, yeah, right? Yeah, everything is basically over here. That's like other PEs and stuff. We, just Jordan ones today. Just Jordan ones. Top five? Oh my God. Okay, I gotta make it quick. You got classics, quick. you got materials. No, I know, I know. That's stuff gonna, you that's like gonna to rock. Hard. Okay, we'll go to these. You're rocking with the UNCs. These is clean though. I told you. The material is ridiculous See, right I there. Yeah, I told you this one got the logo on it. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna go here. Okay, all right, okay. <sighs> Those go crazy. Oh god. Yeah, I, you know I can't never give up on these. You love those. <laughs> The materials are crazy on those too. And, and it's thicker too I right know. here. I know. Oh. Alright, so you got the band one. Okay. okay, okay. I'm liking the pigs right now. 
You always throw a curveball in there. I already yeah, know. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna go different. Oh, you got the Travis Scott. I, I never. You I got the whole, want... you got the whole Travis Scott low top set. You got different mids. You got. No. He's like down on my knees trying to figure it out. <laughs> no, but for this year, though, I mean, like for right now, I'm gonna I'm go with these two. You like these? <laughs> these is killing them right now. These are sick. Okay, okay. All right, put that, we'll put that one on the list. We'll put that okay, one up that's there. That's three. Three. Yep. Two more. What you gonna do? Two more. I told you I really like this shoe. Black, oh yeah, you do like those. I really like these this. These ones just came out too. Okay. All I right. really like that. You shoe. switching it up on me this year. I'm switching it up. All right. And fifth and final pick. Final. I want. I, you know, I love Booper. I want to put him in there. Yeah, my dog. <laughs> uh, but I gotta. I'm gonna go different this time. Okay. I'm gonna go. Nah, nah. I gotta go back to here. Are you going with Which those or the one? wedding shoes? No, that's not... <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. But we I had those before. I don't know. So Okay. Still rocking with those. I like it. Jordan Brand Classics. Alright. <laughs> you got expensive taste, huh? Alright, let's see the top five. One sec. <sighs> Alright, so right here we have the bread Jordan one. And this yeah. is the band colorway. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? These things are very expensive. How much do you think these are worth? 1500 Yeah, somewhere around there. Two bands, 1500 somewhere That's around there. Good. What about the Rebellionaires? I don't think everybody loves them like I do, so I'm thinking like 400 They're probably a little bit lower, too. You might be right on that price. Okay. What about these ones? Those are sick, and the materials is crazy right now, but they're pretty new, so I'm going to still say about 1500 1500 Yeah. More like 6000 Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh my god. <laughs> 6,000. What about these ones? I like them and I won't be wearing them. <laughs> <laughs> what about these? But you know, I can't never go wrong with those. Those are just a classic for me. Jordan Brand Classic? Yeah, you yeah, can wear those like for thousand, everything. They're about like a $1,000. Yeah, about a thousand And bucks. then you got the Black Phantom Travis One yeah. Lowe's. You really like this shoe. I really like that we shoe. We got to find them a size 14. Man, we need this shoe right hey, here. Hey, these are kind of more affordable. You know, five, six hundred bucks, seven hundred Yeah, I could do that. Yeah. that. 5,000, 6,000. He's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, these are his top five for my 2022 oh. Jordan One collection. Heat, heat. Make sure you tell everybody to subscribe and tell them we out Make of here. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, share, and do all that stuff. We out of here. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there.